Namaskar. The country today is not reeling with one issue. We are reeling with multiple issues. There is the human cost. There is the social cost. There is the economic cost which the people of this country are dealing with. On one side, the COVID pandemic is wrecking a havoc in this country. We don't have enough supply of black fungus medications. We do not have enough supply of vaccinations. I don't understand how this government intends to stop a possible and probable third wave without vaccinating majority of this country. And when even it comes to vaccination, you end up seeing that vaccine availability within the age group of 18 to 44 is largely with private hospitals at a premium price ranging from 900 rupees and going up to 1800 rupees per shot of the vaccine. Can all of India afford this? Can the middle class and the poorer sections of Indian society afford this? Please understand, this is happening when employment opportunities are reducing. This is happening when the income of people is reducing. This is happening when the GDP of this country has taken a nosedive. But the prices of fuel, petrol, diesel, cooking gas, the prices of essential commodities like cooking oil are skyrocketing. Has the Prime Minister of this country delivered on even one of his assurances that he gave not just for the last seven years but at least since the pandemic started? We all knew that he was a lying Prime Minister but a Prime Minister who lies during a pandemic that is affecting this entire country, such a Prime Minister has no moral responsibility to continue leading this country anymore. Friends, it is time that we raise our voices against this government for not acting on employment, for not reducing prices of essential commodities, for not controlling the unnecessary hike in fuel prices and more than anything for being responsible for the death of lakhs and lakhs of Indians. Please stay safe, please take care and I urge you to get vaccinated at the earliest available opportunity with any vaccine that is available.